Hey, Darian, how you doing? I got your work up here. So I just want to show you what happens when we open this up. We open it and we can clearly see that it's oriented um, incorrectly. So the, the, the significance here and the reason I'm bringing this up is because it's really important for you to understand as a design student, uh, it's important for you to understand how to orient your presentation work to make it as easy as possible to, to, for the viewer to review the work. Um, and that means to orient it in a way that the viewer doesn't have to do any kind of resizing, rotating, or anything. And it's really, really important. Um, if this were to happen in a studio setting, and the reason I'm, I'm really trying to emphasize this is because if this happens in a studio setting, you're, it's going to get sent right back to you and your creative director or your art director is going to say, hey, I need these presentations to be viewable and ready and I shouldn't have to do any kind of rotating and you have to get this right. You're going to have some very, very angry art directors and creative directors if submitting presentation for um, comment in a way that makes that they have to do some sort of work to get it oriented correctly. Just want to mention that because it is significantly important. So what I did is I downloaded your work and here it is. So let's go ahead and take a look. So um, the main thing I think I want to mention is for you to get over into those course announcements and just really review all of these course announcements. Start with week one and work your way all the way up to welcome to week two. There's several videos in here, several tips and tricks on how to complete these assignments. And um, th there's even w it, there's there's formulas for kerning. There's tips for craft. There's tips for a uh, baseline, mean line, cap line, letter placement, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's all in here, and I really, really um, highly encourage you to watch all of the videos within these these uh, these course announcements. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. So this document is from one of those videos, and this is is, is what I would be considered uh, perfect kerning and spacing for this phrase fire and ice so we jump over here and we're going to take a look comparatively and i think we can see some major differences that point to um but the craft is is definitely compromised i mean this is supposed to be as neat and clean as possible and when in doubt just be sure to go and take a look at some of the submissions of your classmates and that's what you're shooting for um, you don't want to be posting work that isn't on a competitive level with your classmates. I think that's intuitive. So we really, really want to shoot for for a um, high degree of, of, of um, a high degree of accuracy in the depiction of these letter forms as well as a high degree of accuracy showing you understand the, the rules and um, <clears throat> recommendations for kerning and word spacing as given in course announced I'm sorry the course resources okay so first thing we see of course is the the baseline is not level um, mean line is not drawn correctly because it's not connecting the lowercase letters all of your letters are different sizes and that that does not surprise me at all because of the inaccurate placement of the baseline and mean line to a, and also your cap line your cap line is placed incorrectly so we're not showing overshoot here see that little the, that serif on that D there's overshoot there so you want to depict that um, the letter forms themselves watch your craft these, these should be traced i mean they should be exact look how thick and fat that is up on top and look how skinny it is down here we don't see that in the original letter form see what i'm saying and then also say they take a look at the, the the lowercase i that tittle that dot is way higher it's almost all the way up to the cap line but yours is really low right above the mean line um the i the r doesn't have to pick that that nice tapered tear tear uh, teardrop right there the um Serifs are real. Your serifs are really super bulky, whereas they're much more streamlined and and, and uh, uh, they're much more streamlined through here. Right now, here they're just really fat and bulky, and and a lot. And the same can be said for a lot of your letter forms here. So, so um, and my recommendation is this: is that you I, you you want to watch craft. You want to watch all of those videos. You want to get this set perfectly now as far as your spacing goes right now i think this is a really wide space right here one of the reasons this is you, you are so wide is because you're forced to place the f the i over here so that the, the dot of the i doesn't touch the f but if we take a look at the relationship of this lowercase bar um this lower bar of the lower of the uppercase f and compare it to the uh, upper bar right now yours is hanging out much much farther so that's why you're, you have this problem area right here. So my recommendation is to actually trace these letters. Right now, it almost looks like you're, you're hand drawing the letters. So you want to get some tracing paper and you want to trace these letters. Again, those videos show exactly and give some great tips here. 
So um, again, I, my recommendation, I, I'm sorry I don't have a whole lot of recommendation, um, recommendations here, uh, uh, tips for improvement, but, but I really want you to watch those videos because right now I think this is a, to a point where um, it's, it's really not depicting um, accuracy to the point where I can talk about spacing. And the reason being is because all of your letters are different sizes. Um, we, we don't, we're not depicting overshoot. And, and your baseline, mean line, or cap line. Your mean line and cap line, your cap line and mean line are kind of scribbled in. And ba your baseline is kind of scribbled in. Instead of drawing a nice, clean, neat, single line, you've kind of drawn this scribble mark. So a lot of this points to craft and and, uh, and, what I, and I would say we need to, to spend a little bit more time here in, in uh, attention to craft and really watch your word spacing and letter spacing. Okay, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. But again, I just really want to reiterate the importance of watching those videos. Okay, thank you.